Hi, this is Todd, and today is Wednesday, July 28, 2010. Um, I am on Francis Peak Road, looking east. And today I want to talk about the open position preference differences between, I apologize, the wind is probably pretty obnoxious, between the anti swallowtail Papilio zelicaon and the Indra swallowtail Papilio indra. Um, on this rock face, you see uh, a single plant of Lomatium graviolens, and I'm going to attempt to kind of hike this without breaking my legs, hopefully, and show you caterpillars on here, young instars, first, seconds, and thirds of both species, and where the females uh, laid the eggs and where the caterpillars are feeding. The uh, resting preferences of those two species are somewhat different, as are the phenotypes of the caterpillars. Now, when I'm talking about the larvae, you may not see them in this video, but I'll add some pointers hopefully to uh, make it a little easier to see. Okay, um, I've got my macro turned on and that's about as close as I can get. The caterpillar that you see at pretty dead center is Papilio salicae on the anti swallowtail. And as you can see, the caterpillar is about two-thirds, one-half to two-thirds up the plant. We move over here. We have a second instar, or possibly a first instar set to go second. I'll collect it and zoom in on it here in a bit. Of the Papilio windra. Um, the larvae of these are face downward. Um, this caterpillar right here still may be Zelicaon, and there's some more indra in the back there. So, um, some of you have seen the video by uh, Chris Hanslick with regards to uh, heading out to the Granite Mountains, San Bernardino Cal County, California. Uh, and finding larvae of Papilio indra fordi, there are some commonalities in the strategies in terms of where the indra swallowtail females prefer to oviposit and how you can find larvae and eggs along the periphery of the plant. There are some practices that are somewhat universal uh, to finding in, uh, Papilio indra caterpillars. Okay, um, actually there's two young instar indra caterpillars here. I apologize, I'm out of breath. I'm on a cliff face. But what I've done is place a container underneath this, so if I try to um, collect the indra larva, it very well may fall, as is their habit. Um, I'll still be able to retain the larva. Okay, on this one sprig, where I thought I only saw the one anti swallowtail um, young instar on the right, if you look on the left, we also have an indra, second or third instar, and uh, on the same sprig. The differences between the larvae of the young instars is the saddle on the uh, anti swallowtail Papilio zelican is uh, ha a little wider, a little more extensive white as you can see here. And also on this sprig of Lomatium graviolens, I don't know if I'm focusing in on that, I'm trying to put the sky as the background, but that's probably blurry, is the first instar Papilio intra caterpillar. So, anyway, finding. Uh, as I've said in other videos, uh, collecting or photographing indra swallowtails uh, can be difficult. Rearing them also can be difficult, but there are some practices online, including on this website, that can teach you that. But this is just uh, some heads up on the types of plants to look for for indra swallowtails and or anti-swallowtails uh, throughout the region. The two of them can and have been known to fly together. Thanks.